Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux 2022.4 on VirtualBox in your Mac OS PC. If you don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. These are the softwares we need to run VirtualBox successfully. First we need Kali Linux image file. We also need VirtualBox. We need VirtualBox extension pack. And lastly, we need on archiver, and that's what we're going to use to extract Kali Linux from the 7-zip file. So head to your Chrome browser, and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over the Oracle VM VirtualBox. So let's click on it, and it should take you to the official website over here. Now you can see by the left, download, so click on downloads. Okay, so you can see for Windows host, Mac OS and many other operating systems. So click on Mac OS and it should start downloading. Okay, so VirtualBox is now downloading. So I will just cancel it since I already have it downloaded. Now if you scroll down, you're going to see Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. You can see over there, extension pack for VirtualBox. Now click on all supported platforms and it should start downloading the extension pack. Now we also have to download on archiver. So open a new tab and then search for on archiver. You can see the first page over there, the on archiver.com. So click on it. So you can see this software is available both on the Apple Store and you can also download directly. So I'm just going to download directly since this is easy for me. So I'll just click on download and it should start downloading. Let me cancel that. I already have it downloaded. And lastly, we also have to download Kali Linux image file. So let's search for Kali Linux. And here we go. So you can see the first page over here which heads to Kali.org. So that's the link to Kali Linux. So click on that. Okay, so now click on the download button over here. Click on download and it should take you down here now we can either use the installer image or run it directly with our virtual machines over here so click on virtual machines instead of using the installer image so let's click on virtual machines and it will take you down here now you can see for vmware virtualbox and quemu but we need this for virtualbox so all you need to do is click on the Kali Linux for VirtualBox. So click on VirtualBox and it should start downloading. And it is now downloading. So after downloading everything, Kali Linux, the on archiver, VirtualBox and VirtualBox extension pack, then we can close our browser tab and then begin with the extraction of these files and start the installation. So let's open our download folder. And here we go. Now double click on VirtualBox to load the program so we can begin the installation. So just double click on it and it should start opening. Now you can see we are getting an error and that is because our Mac OS machine does not recognize the VirtualBox we are installing. Now this is simply because I'm using an old version of Mac OS so we are having issues with the current version of VirtualBox. So all you have to do if you have this issue is to download an older version of VirtualBox. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you are unable to install the latest version of VirtualBox, you either have to update your Mac OS or download an older version of VirtualBox. So let's head to download an older version. Now head back to your browser and search for VirtualBox and then head back to VirtualBox official website. Also click on the download link by the left. And then you can see the latest version but scroll down and you're going to see a section for VirtualBox older builds. So click on VirtualBox older builds and it should open the page where you can get older versions of VirtualBox. Now you can see version 7.0, 6.1, 6.0. So let's go with 6.1 since we can't run the latest version which is 7. Now you can see Windows host, Mac OS, Solaris and many other stuff over there. So click on Mac OS. And it should download VirtualBox 6.1 for Mac OS. Now also scroll down so you can download the extension pack as well. So click on extension pack and then download the extension pack for the version of VirtualBox which we just downloaded. 
now we can close our browser and then continue with the installation now open your download folder and then you can see the new version of virtualbox we just downloaded which is 6.1 so let's open it and um, this should actually work the new version isn't compatible with the version of mac os we are running so this should work and here we go now double click on this icon over there virtualbox.pkg and we can begin the installation so continue click on continue install now just confirm with your system password and then click on install software and the installation has started We are now done with the installation, so click on close. Now let's close this window as well. Open our launch pad and then search for VirtualBox. Now the next thing we have to do is to install VirtualBox extension pack. So you can see the extension pack we downloaded. Now double click on it to open it. And it should open in VirtualBox after we successfully install VirtualBox and you can now see a prompt on virtualbox so click on install scroll down and then agree to the terms click on i agree and it should install successfully so just enter your password to confirm you're the person performing this action and click on ok and it has been installed successfully so now we can begin the installation of Kali Linux on our VirtualBox. Now we have to install on Archiver so we can use it to extract Kali Linux. So open your download folder and then you can double click on it or just right click and then click on open. And here we go. Now drag the on Archiver and then drag it to applications folder and it should begin installing. Now open your finder and then search for on archiver you can see it over there open it and then you can click on select all to select all the file extensions and then you can close on archiver that's actually all you need to do just select all the options and then close it now open your download folder and then locate your kali linux 7 zip file right click click on open with and then select the on archiver and it should begin extracting the file now this may take some time around 10 minutes or thereabouts but you just have to wait and finally the file has been successfully extracted now let's open our download folder and here you can see a new folder created called Kali Linux 2022.4 VirtualBox AMD64. So that is our extracted folder. So let's open the folder. And you can see two files over here Kali Linux 2022.4 and another file.vdi. So open up this file with extension.vbox, the first file over there. And it should load up in VirtualBox. So you can see a new machine has been added to our VirtualBox, and this is Kali Linux. Now you can see the specs of this machine but we have to make few changes so click on settings and then click on system up there so you can see the base memory which is the ram which you can increase but don't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer you can also see the processor section you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your processor to your virtual machine but i'm just going to give it two cpu since i have just four but this is really not recommended now go to the display section and then make sure the video memory is set to 128 megabytes and then enable 3D acceleration down there and then we can click on OK. So once we click on start, it should boot into Kali Linux. So click on start. So the default username and password for Kali Linux pre-installed version is Kali, K-A-L-I or in lowercase. 
and you can see Kali Linux has been successfully installed. Now you can see all the tools are available here and you can use it for whatever you want to do. You can also view it on full screen mode by clicking on the enlarge button up there and you should be able to view on full screen mode. So click on the enlarge button and then click on switch. And here we go. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.